Hi, I'm Chris, here with my friend Jake. Uh, gonna be asking some questions today. Sweet. How you been, Jake? Great. How have you been? I'm oh, pretty good. All right. Uh, so, what are the type of games you play? Um, I play a lot of games. Uh, I think the first thing that got me really into this kind of hobby was board games. Mm -hmm. Non-traditional tabletop, like Settlers of Catan, Ticket to Ride, some of the big name uh, games nowadays. And yeah. then it got me into more of uh, the non-traditional newer games, Boss Monster, uh, and Magic the Gathering is a big one now. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say your favorite game is? Mm, my most favorite game is probably Magic the Gathering. It's one I play most often. But if we're talking about tabletop games, I love Settlers of Catan. It's probably number one in my book. It's great. It's a fun game. Yeah. You don't win, do you? No. No. You're not a winning type? No. I just, it's just not of my nature. <laughs> uh, so what brings you into the store today? Uh, mainly, I'm, I, I moved uh, out of town about an hour away, so whenever I'm in town, I come in. Oh, nice. Even just to say hi, uh, buy some things if I can, but see people like you yeah. and Tim and friends here. It's a great place to just come and hang out. Oh, nice. Is that how you feel about the store overall? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a place where I can spend a lot of time, um, on a lot of free time, where I can just mm -hmm. come in and hang out, see friends, uh, play games, or just kind of chill. You know, it's a really good environment. Nice. Um, so you've obviously played Magic other places in here. Right. How does um, Acropolis compare to other stores? Uh, very well, in my opinion. I've actually been to a lot of stores that involve Magic all around the country. And um, being a new store, it very much impressed me how quickly uh, Magic became a thing here. The space is incredible. Um, lots of tables, lots of places to play. Um, and then the, uh, the environment alone, uh, the staff who took it upon themselves to learn the game and, and know the product, mm -hmm. it, it, made it, it made it really nice. It's, it's one of the better places I've been to when it comes to uh, Magic the Gathering. And I'm not into Warhammer, but from right. what I've heard, it seems to be one of the better places for that too. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never played Warhammer anywhere else, but... Yeah, well, nice. I haven't seen it many places. I've only probably seen Warhammer in like two other places, but this place, uh, it seems like the people that do play it really like it here. Um, how do you feel about the magic community that plays here? Oh, the community that, that plays here in particular, great. Everyone's super friendly. A lot of places I've been to, you have the uh, the vets or pros yeah. uh, that that think that they're better up than everyone else. Um, there's a lot of places that have been friendly just like this place, but you have people coming in from never played a game in their life, like you, for instance, mm -hmm. you didn't, and then you started playing it, and the community really gets you involved in a friendly way, and doesn't look down on you. A lot of trading, playing going on. Mm -hmm. I like everyone. There's a wide range from rook, from rookie to veteran players, but all equally nice. Nice. Um, how do you feel about our staff? Uh, besides you, everyone's great. Of course. Besides you, you forced me into this video. Yeah. <laughs> Most people. No, uh, the whole staff's great. Uh, Tim, Sarah, you, um, Tim's brother, everyone I deal with is very friendly, um, very understanding. They, they, they invite people in all the time. Um, I just heard about the Toys for Tots thing mm -hmm. that you guys are doing. I think that's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I, the staff's here great. And I may be a little biased because I've known Tim for a while, but... Right. He doesn't let that biasness kind of get in the way of how he treats me over everybody else. Nice. Um, so you, he mentioned the Toys for Tots thing. Um, we're having a magic tournament. It's a $5 entry fee, and if you bring a toy, uh, that is your entry fee, the $5 in the toy. Um, be looking for a video of that coming up. Anything else to add? Mm, come on down. Uh, every, every family and friend that told me they came here without me even knowing, they told me they loved it. So oh, nice. I think you would too. All right, well, thanks for being on. Thanks, Chris. This has been Conversation with Chris and Jake.